Okay, time for another game. Hopefully we don't fail this one. This time we're in Milwaukee. I've been to Milwaukee before. A few times. Milwaukee is at the very bottom of their division. Although it doesn't really matter. Because it's unpredictable who's going to win. Are both, and Cora are both terrible hitters, but when they do get a hit, they're great base runners. Ventura, he's just all around terrible at everything he does. At least in this game. In real life, I remember him hitting quite a few home runs. But I guess whenever they designed this game, I guess I kind of missed that part of his statistics. video that I downloaded Donkey Kong on the Wii, the original Nintendo version. After the end of the season, I'm probably going to be playing that. I'll probably wait till then to do that game. And there's also some more games I want to download on the Wii. I'm not sure which ones yet. Just got to kind of go through them. What kind of music is that? It almost sounds like something from a carnival ride or something. Right, 
definitely doesn't sound like baseball. This part here sounds like baseball music, but the last music they're playing. Each stadium has a lot of the stadiums have pretty much this similar music, but it seems like they also there's some stadiums that have a distinctive different tune. You know, why can't Tim Raines or Joey Corey get as many bass hits as Frank Thomas? Frank always gets on bass, but he can't get anywhere once he's on bass. There we go, Bo. George Bell start last game in close position. Come on, fool. You strike out here, you're gone. Yep, yeah, I'd exchange Pasqua for Burks and Ventura for Sacks, we'd have all right handed batters. Because Reigns and Cora is an oh Johnson too I'd have to replace. And Gian, I did take Gian out for Grayback. Okay, so um, I guess there's a few of them. It's very rare to see me not swing at a pitch, let alone two in a row. It's so funny to get like an inch from the plate and he throws it, overhand throws it to the first baseman. The guy who gets it before him. Sometimes when they do that and they're that close, they'll throw it away. Unfortunately, I haven't seen that yet. Imagine that. I always stood out the lead and all of a sudden I got to ruin my day. season. But I'm gonna wait till this is over first. Starting pitcher on my team, actually the best overall pitcher on my team is Jason Bure. We have not seen him start yet because I don't choose the starter. I let the computer rotation play its thing. But the very last game of the season, if we haven't seen Jason Bure pitch, I'm going to put him in. Check the replay on that one. Right there, it's touching. 
It is over the edge of the plate. That's a strike. So the count's 0-3 right now. Strike three. Get out. Strike four. There's another one that was hit the corner of the plate. I mean, I can understand. Look at that. It's touching the corner of the plate. I can understand in real major league baseball the ump's eyes aren't that good, but this is computerized. They shouldn't miss it. Okay, now that pitch was identical to the last one. Waldo Bean. This is real name Oswaldo, by the way. more baseball games too from Nintendo because there were tons of them. So far on my channel we've seen original baseball on the Nintendo. It was baseball stars, bases loaded. I think those were the only three NES games we've seen, but there was like bases loaded two, bases loaded three, I think there was a four. There's Bo Jackson's baseball, King Griffey Jr. baseball, Roger Clemens baseball. RBI baseball, one, two, and three. And maybe possibly a... Possibly might have been a part four to that one, too. I'm not sure. Vince Johnson I seems to strike out. Pet lipstick. Apparently people call him lipstick in school. Right. Probably not for you, I guess look list stash doesn't really look too much like it. Sixty one mile an hour fastball. Sixty two mile an hour slow ball. So that's pretty sad. When you lose your heat, your slow ball is faster than your fast ball. Take my picture out here in the for Ventura. It's a chance to do anything. Schwartz in. Oh. I wish this game kept track of their actual statistics that happen during the regular season. I'd like to see how what some of these guys' batting averages are. Some players like Robin Ventura probably doesn't even have over 100 bad batting average in the season. Come on, fool. I'm up here. Look at the plate. Susie. Frank always gets a base hit, but he never gets around the rest of the bases. Right. 
Now I went right through his back. There we go, Bo's doing all the action this game. Whoa! Okay, that was crazy. I swung a little too early at that. Smacked it pretty far from barely getting a piece of it. Okay, Paso's getting taken out of there because he's just failing all over the place. I just wait to the next inning. Or his next at bat. Greg Vaughn. I can't hit him because he keeps running away like a little granny. Right. He's afraid he could hit. You idiot. That's the last time I'm pitching against that guy, except for either hit him or intentionally walk him. If I can't hit Greg Vaughn next time at bat, I'll just intentionally walk him. It's weird how slow they run up and down and they run real fast side to side. One of these fast runners to hit one down the line. Ow. Nice one. Why don't you just walk, catch the ball, walk out and hand it to him. Don't put Gray back in because the club just is good. I've got a right hand batter against left handed pitcher this way. Well, that did a whole lot of nothing. I think it hit the space station, maybe. So good at the beginning of the season, and also I get so terrible. Oh. Yeah, you can run three players too in this game. Caught it with his butt. Oh. Okay, Johnson will get out, Ventura will get out, Frank will get on first. Actually, Johnson's not going to get him out because he's getting replaced by Calderon. I placed two of my lefties. Ow. 
else it wouldn't have done any better anyway. Right through the bat. Okay, Frank got a double instead of a single. It doesn't matter because if Bo doesn't hit a home run here, he's not going to score. Oh, hit a home run, but it says double because that's just the way the computer glitches. A whole bunch of fail. See, Frank does all gets all those base hits for nothing. Right. And this pitcher lost his heat too. He gives up one more hit, he's getting cold. Scoreboard. My scoring is 02020. The rest is 01010. It's kind of weird. Now, if this is a slow runner at second, I might have been able to pick him off, but I guess he's not. Left-handed pitchers are it's harder to direct it right over the corner. Kidding me? Barely touching the side of the plate, so maybe that would count as a ball. That runner on second doesn't have a very far lead off, so there's no point in me trying to pick him off. Not that it would really matter with bases loaded. I mean, there's really nowhere he can go. If he tries to on third, runner on third is going to have to go home. Burks in the pass block. Take Wudinski out, put in Hernandez. Whoops, push the button. Kirk will fail. 
haven't done much in a long time. Aura hasn't done much. Right back to hitting down the line here. Not quite. Missed the line by good 30 yards. VHS tapes I'm making, I mentioned in my last video, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in this video yet, but we're in another project where I'm recording all my games in chronological order on my VHS tapes. That way you can always go back and do reviews if necessary. So I got multiple, I didn't put, do all my Atari games, no, we've seen quite a few Atari games on my, uploaded on my channel, I didn't do all those on VHS, but just pretty much the fun ones. Maybe, maybe like half of them. I'm going to say Pitfall is definitely the, one of my favorites of, of all those Atari games that we've seen on my channel. Now Super Pitfall they just made way too difficult. I mean, I understand they want to make them kind of challenging, but the designers have to remember that these are games, so they're supposed to be fun, too. If it's all challenge and no fun, there's no point in playing it. Pitfall the Mine Adventure isn't too bad. It is quite a challenge, but I still kind of have fun with it. To a certain point. So I did three Pitfall games on my YouTube channel. You can see Pit, the original Pitfall on Atari. There's Super Pitfall on the NES, and Pitfall the Mine Adventure on Sega Genesis. There are still tons and tons of NES games I plan on getting. So, I mean, this YouTube channel could go on forever. And I'm currently out of games right now besides I got Donkey Kong, the original Donkey Kong. And after that I don't have any games, but... I need to think, there's 792 official NES games out there. And we've only seen 78 of them on my channel. Or 77 of them on my channel. After I do Donkey Kong, it will be 78. that fool a chance to hit another home run. Right. We've only seen one Sega Master System game on the channel. Right. I think maybe like three Genesis games. Right. We've seen Sonic the Hedgehog, Pitfall of Mine Adventure, Earthworm Jim, I think are the only three.
don't think we've seen Frank hit a home run in quite a while. Now, if that was Lance Johnson that hit that ball, that'd be in, in the ballpark home run. It's a boat and get a double out of it. Okay, that was a fail. Let's see another home run for Bo. Whoops, he kind of missed the fence there, Bo. By a few hundred feet. See, I don't take too far of a lead off of Frank because he's not that fast. down the line. Cargo Base used, used to get a lot of hits in this game. But not this late in the season he's not. There we're gonna score a run. I have one really big inning in the game, but I haven't seen them yet this game, so I'm due for one. There we go. It's going to score a run. That was weird. The started saying safe at the same, right about the same time the crowd started cheering. Three players to stand around that. this one. And next game we're going to see, which will probably be tomorrow, possibly later tonight, depending on how much time I have, but I like to do games in twos, like play two games in a row because you got that lengthy password you got to enter. So, anyways, next couple games we're going to see, I'll be playing the next one, Toronto Blue Jays at Chicago White Sox. And then we'll see a computer versus computer game, San Francisco Giants at Cincinnati Reds. Check the standings. And I moved up to third from last. Next game is against Toronto. They're first place in their division. Usually it seems like Toronto, New York, or Boston are probably pretty good in that division. Usually New York, the Yankees. No one's this usually lies to me that wins. But failing this season. Down here in the National League East, it's usually. Seems like Montreal and Philadelphia usually win that division. The Cubs are usually in last, but. 
some reason you're in first this time. And Atlanta and San Francisco down in the west. And Los Angeles. So those are the two. Usually always one of those three teams wins it. Atlanta's the toughest team to play against in the league. So if I don't make the playoffs, at least I won't have to worry about getting beat by Atlanta in the World Series. There's the password, still 36 digits, at least it didn't go up yet. It's crazy. So I hope you enjoyed the game. See you in the next video.